Please welcome to the stage CEO of Certified New Home Specialist, Mr. Dennis Walsh. Thank you. You are so fun. Thanks very much. How's everybody feeling today? Are you excited to be here? Are you excited about the business of real estate? Let's try that again. Are you excited about the business of real estate? Absolutely. What I'd like to talk about this morning, I'd like to talk, of course, about new home sales, the opportunities there. We're going to talk, I'm going to give you examples and ideas, hopefully, to get you excited about things you can do. Rather than sitting and waiting for the phone to ring, somebody say, I'd like to buy or sell a home, what I'm going to share with you are some concepts, some ideas where you can go out and make some things happen. You can help create your own destiny. You can bring new inventory to the market. Does that sound exciting? Um, how many of you agree that we are looking at an opportunity for a new homes boom? Do you agree with that? I hope so. Listen, look at the dynamics. Look, we've still got historically low interest rates. Household formation dropped to record lows for how many years? We've got a huge pent-up demand for home ownership in America. We know that there are changes that need to be made. We, you know, the builders are gearing up. We're moving that direction. But some of you may remember back to the 70s, we had several years there where builders brought more than 2 million new homes a year to the U.S. and lots of, lots of building and construction in Canada and other areas as well. So lots of dynamics out there. Harvard University Joint Center for Housing. Some of you may follow their housing studies, the future of housing and home ownership and all that kind of stuff. These guys, great number crunchers. They predicted at the beginning of the decade that between the year 2010 and 2020, the United States would need roughly 18 million new homes built in that 10 year period to meet the demand, the housing demand across this country. Okay, 18 million, 1.8 million homes a year. Have we gotten anywhere near those levels yet? No, we've had very, very low. So let's talk about why there are opportunities in new home sales. And the first thing I have here is a new home is the American dream. Do you agree with that? And the Canadian dream and many, many others. Isn't that true? Yeah, most people dream someday they could have a brand new home. But what happens when the typical person out there searching for a new home gets in touch, they call up the typical real estate agent and says, hey, I'm interested in finding a, finding a new home. Can you help me? Do they find someone who's trained, they know the market, they have the builder relationships and so on to do that? Typically not. Less than 5% of all real estate professionals have that expertise. So what I'd like to suggest is the majority of real estate agents have no new home sales expertise. So can you see, for those of you who develop that expertise, you're prepared, you have the training, you know how to do that, can you see how that gives you a differentiator? Gives you a tremendous market opportunity. Does that make sense? All right, several national studies have found that 55% of all active home shoppers, people out there in the market shopping, national studies done all over the nation, have found 55% of all of them either absolutely want to buy a new home or want to shop for a new home as they're shopping for an existing home. 55%. And I'd like you to imagine, if you will, for a minute, if Lowe's or Home Depot, for example, advertised to consumers, come into our stores, we have everything you need to meet a full 45% of your home, owner, your home improvement needs. Would that be a good business strategy? The question is, if we have a majority of people that want to shop for new homes, how many of us, how many of our brokerages are in essence saying, come in and talk to us because we are professionally prepared, we have the training, the market knowledge, the systems, the relationships, everything needed to support a full 45% of home shoppers in their complete buying experience. Think about that for a minute. Think about how important that business opportunity is. All right, next we have builders are seeking broker participation. We have more of that going, more interest. Large builders, small builders. Who's our target, by the way? If we're going to put together builder relationships, we're going to be taking on their sales and marketing. Is it the big builders or is it typically the smaller folks out there? Yeah, it's the smaller players out there trying to compete with the big builders. There's opportunities out there to find these diamonds in the rough. So what are the opportunities in new home sales? Again, most people think, well, this builder representation. I'm going to go out and get a builder, do builder marketing and so on. Can that be good business? Absolutely. The success stories we have, folks out there marketing subdivisions, selling home after home after home. A builder can produce new homes. Help them, you can help the builder determine what product to, to build and, and where to build it and, and get the message out to the right market that needs it. So great opportunities. Number two, we have buyer representation. Is there anyone here promoting him or herself as a new home buyer specialist? Anybody doing that? No? Just a few hands. Okay. Think about that. 
Think about how many of these major builders, large builders, and even smaller, medium-sized builders are happy to make, pay Cobra commissions. If the majority of home shoppers are interested in a new home, doesn't it make sense to position yourself that way, market yourself that way? Does that make sense? Building lot sales, have any of you done this? I call this selling mud. I see a hand out there. Yeah, you're out there and stakes in the mud and a road cut in the mud, a little trailer propped up. And you're trying to convince people that in the middle of all this mud is where their dreams are going to come true, right? So that's a, that's a tough gig. But you can meet builders, you can meet developers, you can meet home buyers, you make all kinds of things happen there. So how many of you are familiar with the concept of infill building, infill development and construction? Okay, we've got some hands out there, but sharing this message, most people are not aware of it. What we're talking about, folks, is tear down and rebuild an older property, whether it be an old church, old apartments, older homes rebuilt. How many of you see some of that kind of activity going on in your market areas? You seeing that? Yeah, believe it or not, on a national basis, it's estimated about 30% across the country here of all housing permits are for infill, tear down and rebuild. And this presents an unbelievable opportunity. I really believe this is going to be an opportunity that really is, is one of the great opportunities of the future of real estate, is for you to develop those skills, to learn how to package these deals and bring this business together. Make sense? We have folks all over the country doing it. I had a broker in Northern California who said, you know, we really don't have any new homes opportunities. Well, I went ahead and pulled up the permits. I said, guess what? In market areas served by your offices, in the last 12 months, 12,000 some odd building permits have been pulled. He says, oh my gosh, I had no idea. Well, that's because they're not traditional subdivisions. It's permits for tear down and rebuild and mixed use kind of units and so on. He said, boy, we better get involved in that. What do we do? Well, we trained some agents. He set up a new homes division. In nine months, he went from believing there were no opportunities and they are now currently working on over 1,000 properties. Infill, teardowns, a place where you know, apartments, uh, mixed use, all kinds of things coming out of nowhere putting this business together. Is that exciting? Are you excited about that? <laughs> all right. All right, we're going to get you excited, I promise. My wife and I dreamed this dream of creating a business and traveling, and boy, did that come true, and boy, do we travel. So we're, we're on the road like mad, and, 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 and certainly, you know, Steve, Tam, you can, can relate to that, that insanity. But one of the things that never ceases to amaze me as we travel this beautiful world is the power of the human spirit, the power of human achievement. Uh, you know, the, the high rises, the buildings, the cities, the bridges, the parks, everywhere you look. Where did each one of those things that wasn't even there at one point, where did that begin? Right there. A dream in the heart and the mind of an individual. Exit Realty at one point was a dream in the heart and the mind. Is that true? And that dream that brought 100 more dreamers came on board. And then thousands, right? Look at the power of this dream. All right? All across America we see these dreams. Believe in your dreams. Don't anybody take that away from you. Look at some of the achievements that come about because somebody dreamed that dream and put those pieces together. I encourage all of you, dream those dreams, dream big dreams. The business of real estate is amazing and gives you an opportunity to make dreams come true for you, your family, and, and the future of this great world. So God bless all of you and thank you for your time here today. Thank you so much. Thank you.